Hi, my name is Harsh Desai, and this is a video on the power rule for derivatives. This is meant for anybody who already knows how to use the definition of a derivative and wants to learn the power rule. So what is it? The power rule allows you to find a derivative of a function faster than the definition of the derivative. So this is the power rule. Uh, the derivative of x to the n equals n times x to the n minus 1. Um, and if we're, this is in a few examples. So x squared. Uh, n equals 2, so you do 2 times x to the 2 minus 1. So 2 times x to the 2 minus 1, 2 minus 1 becomes 1. So you get 2 times x to the first, which is just 2x. And for 3x cubed, it's x cubed, so 3 times 3x to the 3 minus 1. So 3 minus 1 is 2. So 3x, uh, 3 times 3x squared, which is 9x squared. So now it says to find the derivative of 3x squared plus x plus 5. So the first term is 3x squared. We move the uh, exponent out to the front, so it's 2 times 3x to the 2 minus 1 to get 6x, because 2 minus 1 is 1, and 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, for the second term, it's x, which is actually x to the first. So you move the 1 out, and you do, do 1 times x to the 1 minus 1, which is 1 times x to the 0th, so which is just 1. Uh, and the third term is actually a constant. And because of this, all constant values, such as this 4 as well, in the next problem, they all, the derivatives of any constant is 0. So this 5 is actually 5x to the 0th. You move the 0 to the front, you get 0 times 5x to the 0 minus 1. All of that doesn't matter, though, because it's being multiplied by 0. So the final answer is 6x plus 1. For this problem, x cubed, the derivative would be 3 times x to the 3 minus 1 which is 3x squared for the first term because you're moving 3 to the front and subtracting 1 from the exponent. For the second term, it's 2x squared, so move the 2 from the exponent to the front, subtract 1 from the exponent, and you get 4x. For the third term, it's 6x, which is actually 6x to the first. Move the exponent to the front, subtract 1 from the exponent, and you get 6. Uh, for the last term, it's a constant, so we can just simply put that to 0, and this is why it's the same logic as this one right here. Uh, it would be x to the 0, it's 0 times anything is 0. So our final answer is 3x squared plus 4x plus 6. Now it says to find the derivative of the square root of x, of the, of x cubed. So the square root of x cubed is rewritten as x to the 3 halves because of a property of square roots. Uh, and then so you move the exponent to the front, which is 3 over 2, multiplied by x to the 3 over 2 minus 1, uh, which is 3 over 2 minus 2 over 2, which is 1 half. So you have 3 halves x to the 1 half. For the derivative of the next problem, which is 3x cubed minus 2x squared plus x all over x, you can actually divide each term by the x. So you have 3x cubed over x, negative 2x squared over x, plus and then x over x. Uh, each one cancels one of the x's out, so you get 3x squared minus 2x plus 1. The derivative of this, you use the power rule, so 2 times 3 is 6, subtract 1 from the exponent, you get 1, so 6x to the first. x to the first times 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Uh, 1 minus 1 is 0, so x to the 0 is 1, so you get minus 2. This is a constant, so it's automatically 0, and your final answer is 6x minus 2. That's how you use the uh, power rule for derivatives, and I hope you learned something.